Mr. Schweikert is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I apologize to the members and our witnesses. We're running multiple committees up and down, but care an awful lot about this. Um, I also have a um, concern, and, and Dr. Schanzer, um, some of this was uh, directed to you, and that is, have we created a scenario here where even parts of our own tax code, whether it be the ability to use certain pre-tax dollars run them through what's supposed to be a charitable shell, and through the movement of those monies, we're actually f functionally financing evil, whether it be coming back to our universities or around the world. Um, and, and it's a running concern on the mechanisms within, you know, 501c4, certain designs, um, the way we, we actually do not get as much information on those who get the value of a nonprofit. You have an expertise on terrorism finance. How much leakage from, from this country is actually leaking in to violence and, and functionally dystopian evil in the world? Mm. Uh, Congressman Schweiker, thank you for the question. It's a very good one. I will say this that in the 2000s, at the height of the war on terror, we were doing a very good job of making sure that the nonprofit sector was not leaking into the world of terrorism. In the last 10 or 12 years, we have seen a significant drop off in actions taken against uh, 501c3s here at home. And I think it has a lot to do with the bandwidth of our system uh, and I'm sure that those men and women who are working in law enforcement are doing a great job on a range of other challenges, but I think we have probably lost the scent on a lot of them. And I can tell you that there are a handful that we're watching right now. There's one organization that is openly gloating right now about sending money and other assistance to the Gaza Ministry of Health. The Gaza Ministry of Health is run by Hamas. I'm talking here about an organization known as Pious Projects. It's based out of Illinois. No one knows, no one's watching. This is, I think, a major issue. And by the way, it could be supporting Al Qaeda, it could be supporting ISIS. We don't know. And I think we need to get back in the business of tracking these 501c3s. Um, doctor, so in, in our hierarchy of hell, um, how much of it is a leakage of NGOs? How much of it is a leakage of those okay. using what we actually reach out and thought we were creating it within the tax code, the incentive to use pre-tax money to do charitable good? And how much of it is actually, um, do you believe from your expertise, leakage of where even the U.S. taxpayers are directly attempting to try to provide humanitarian assistance? Um, help me understand. You know. Look, it, it, it's all, it, these are all good questions, and I think right now they're hypotheticals because we don't have the people working on it the way that we used to. And this is the, the great frustration, right? We used to have the Treasury Department, where I used to work, used to track nonprofits here in the United States and abroad. Now they don't do anything here at home. They only deal with terror finance abroad. This leaves it into the hands of the Department of Justice and the FBI, who have their hands full right now on a range of other things that are keeping America, let's just say, very busy, right? So we've got, I think, a huge challenge here. I think there should be, number one, investigations into nonprofits that could be supporting terrorism, and we've talked about a few of them today. But I think there also should be, I would welcome this, there should be regulations that if you've worked for a charity that has given money to a terrorist organization in the past, that should be flagged. Americans need to know who they're giving their nonprofit dollars to, and if they don't, they run the risk of possibly supporting something that they don't want to support. Can, can I make a recommendation? Donor advised funds, are Schwab, Vanguard, these are the largest charitable organizations yes. in the United States. Their leadership should be brought in to ensure that they are not funneling funds to these terror supporting organizations. You'll be happy to know. Um, the chairman and a couple of our members here who actually sit on intelligence, um, we've had side conversations on um, uh, charitable giving, pre-tax monies, those things, and how we make sure 
it's doing good, good in the world and not ultimately financing evil. And with that, Mr. Chairman, thank you for your patience. I yield back.